We all think that footballers and athletes in general always eat the very best and healthiest meals to keep them in tip-top shape, but that's actually not always the case. Some of your idols have a totally different idea of what's healthy, while some others just enjoy eating weird stuff. And of course, we start with none other than Erling Haaland. It's no secret that this guy loves to feed on the hearts and livers of cows. He said it himself in his documentary Haaland, The Big Decision. He even showed off some huge chunks which he just got, and he said, You don't eat this. Well, you're very right, sir. We most certainly do not eat weird stuff like that. But you know who does eat weird stuff? Chelsea's new captain, Rhys James. This guy was once pictured eating, wait for it, pasta, mayo, chicken, and strawberries all in one plate. Goodness me. No shade to the right back, but maybe his constant injury has something to do with the weird things he likes to eat. His former teammate, Kurt Zuma, is another culprit. The defender was once caught on camera by Tammy Abraham dipping a jam sandwich into a hot chocolate, and believe it or not, he actually put that in his mouth. Personally, we think that this is a worse crime to humanity than what he did to the cat. He should have gotten banned for a whole season of that monstrosity. And these young players better watch out what they eat now because it could really affect them and their careers along the line. Ask Lionel Messi if you don't believe us. The goat used to eat anything and everything back in the day. Busy drinks, chocolate, junk food. Messi didn't care. He would put anything in his mouth. His diet was so horrible that it caused him to start vomiting before and during games. It got so bad that he had to see a dietitian in 2014 who then absolutely turned his diet around and that put a permanent end to his vomiting problem. But while Messi was dropping processed meat and all that stuff, his former teammate Zlatan Ibrahimovic just kept munching away. According to Swedish media outlet The Local, Zlatan once said that he loves macaroni and falukov cooked by his wife. It all seemed like not much of a big deal at first until we found out from the managing editor of The Local that falukov is the worst type of processed meat you can find. Damn! But somehow the man still managed to play until 41 while eating that. Maybe he was telling the truth all along about him not being human. I mean, take a look at Eden Hazard, for example. You could argue that this guy's eating habit had a huge hand in destroying his career. Hazard eats a crazy amount of burgers, which is actually weird for a pro baller. It's because of junk food that he has turned up overweight to training on several occasions. You want to know how bad Hazard's hamburger addiction is? We'll tell you a quick story. In June 2011, when Hazard was still a 20-year-old youngster tearing things apart for Lille, he was called up to represent Belgium in a competitive game against Turkey. He played badly in that game and was taken off on the hour. Angry and disappointed, Hazard stormed off the pitch and out of the stadium, and guess where he went? To a nearby restaurant to eat hamburgers while the game was still going on. It caused a huge controversy in Belgium back in the day, and it was even named Burgergate. Hazard did apologize, but he didn't stop eating burgers. He just learned not to eat them while the game was in progress. And here's another former Chelsea man with a strange diet, Timo Werner. This guy eats absolutely anything from pasta with ketchup to a breakfast of bread and cheese. It makes us really wonder how he's still able to hit such incredible speeds on the pitch when he eats stuff like that on a daily basis. And another speedster whose diet is weird is Jamie Vardy. His former teammate, Richie Delate, once revealed the secret behind Vardy's insane goal-scoring form in Leicester City's title tilt, and you won't believe what it was. He said that the night before a game, Vardy would only eat pizza and drink pints. In fact, according to Delate, the night before Vardy broke the record for the most consecutive Premier League games scored in, he made sure that he finished a bottle of port with the help of a few other guys. Man. How was he able to do all that madness with all the rubbish he was putting in his stomach is insane. But he's not the only great Premier League striker who used to eat weird things before games. Wayne Rooney himself confessed that before matches, he loved to eat cereal, Cocoa Pops in particular, and he specifically said he only likes the normal ones, not the moon and stars. Wow. Rooney said it had nothing to do with superstition though, it's just what he liked. But his former teammate used to eat really weird things before games because of his superstition, and we're talking about Paul Scholes. The legendary midfielder would have beans on toast all the time and a Turkish delight a night before the game. More specifically, he would have two Turkish delights and a cup of tea, but each time he made sure to buy a packet of three and leave one. Well, considering just how successful he was as a player, you have to say that his weird and superstitious diet kind of worked. 
We'll now wrap up this video with a guy who's pretty unusual himself, Mario Balotelli. When he was in his early 20s, all Balotelli used to consume were pizza and cigarettes. One time he told the media that he'd been sick for two days and absolutely nobody was shocked to hear that because of the really weird stuff he was known to always eat. Anyway, those are 10 footballers who eat the weirdest things. Are there more players you know of who eat weird stuff? Get down in the comments and tell us. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.